Article 28. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a five-year lease purchase agreement for one Mac cab over refuse and recycling truck with a Labrie automated two-side loader body unit in the amount of $350,395, including <coughs> interest, the yearly payment being $75,500 and one MAC 16 yard rear loading refuse and recycling truck in the amount of $237,090,000, including interest, the yearly payment being $51,000, and to raise and appropriate the sum of $126,500 to fund said leased purchase agreement in year one with said leased pur purchase agreement to contain a non-appropriation clause. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, five to zero. Recommended by the Budget Committee, six to two. The fiscal impact provided by the Finance Department. The estimated 2020 tax impact on 1,000 $126,500 is 3.4 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. We have a motion to discuss. <coughs> Ms. Barnes, is, is it seconded? Jim. Jim. Second. Second. Yes. So, and I'd like to offer an amendment to this article. We have a motion for an amendment. That's <coughs> seconded. Well, she'll, she'll read it first. Jim. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, the amendment, so we have number one, Mack yeah, truck over refuse and recycling truck with a Labrie automated two-sided loader body <clears throat> unit in the, to add principal amount of 350395 to remove including interest, the yearly payment of 75500 and then to include including interest in one Mack 16-yard rear loading refuse and recycling truck in the to add principal amount of $237,090, the wheat including interest, the yearly payment being $51,000, include including interest. I second that. So we have the amendment seconded. You can see the amendment on the screen. All those in favor of the amendment, raise your cards. Down, please. Anyone opposed? The amendment is passed. Any further discussion on the article as amended? You've got the public works director there. I'm sorry? If he's going to speak, I don't know. Mr. Jones? So we are appropriating one year of payment here. And in the subsequent years, based on the questions I got answered at the Budget Committee's public hearing, Subsequent years, this amount will be placed in both the proposed budget and the default budget. Now, given that the town meeting is the appropriating body, is the legislative body, and given that it's going to be both in the proposed budget and the default budget in subsequent years, how can the appropriating body invoke the non-appropriation clause if there is no option on the ballot to do so? I'll take any Anybody answer on that one, please? I'll defer to Mr. Gerald. Uh, there are uh, ways to do that. The question wasn't whether there are ways. The question is, what ways? Uh, I, I don't know if that's necessary to answer. Once the, what, once the town meeting approves this, then, then it will go in the operating budgets, uh, both default and uh, and uh, operating in the future. Uh, obviously, if people want to uh, change that, uh, then there's possibilities of uh, a petition warrant article to, uh, to, do, to accomplish that in the future. But if that were to occur, what would happen with a, uh, a, a, something like this is that the town would lose whatever it had invested in, the pri in whatever prior years it had paid the, lead, the amounts. Moreover, I wanted to say to you that uh, whenever this type of arrangement is made, it's done through a financing agency. In other words, uh, 
the Mack trucks will, will uh, generate these. And it generally takes about a year for them to actually build these. Uh, whenever it's, it's uh, financed in this way, you have a financing bank, and they will always ask the town in its questionnaire, have you ever not appropriated before? It's sort of like your bond rating. If you answer yes, we've not appropriated before, you're not likely to get the loan. So basically, this, uh, it's, it's not something you want to encourage. Not only do you lose the investment, but you lose your ability to uh, engage in transactions like this in the future. Well, the, uh, it's never occurred before because guess what? When you put something in both the default budget and the proposed budget, you have no choice. Zero. Unless you want to create a special warrant article and go through all that rigmarole to make it happen. So what you're doing really here is, all your, although technically you're raising one year's appropriation, you're actually committing the full five-year boat. Because years two, three, four, and five, you will have virtually no choice. Now, even though there is an RSA 32, a requirement that says five-year contracts require a 60% majority to approve, this is a way of getting around that requirement. This is a way of diluting the voter's power, as well as the taxpayer's wallet. Mike Pearson, I agree with what Tim just said. It doesn't seem like to me it's properly following the Samburn rules. That's my opinion. And I know that the attorney probably knows much more about that than I do. But that really raises a question about if you pass Part of it this year, the voters have no choice for the next few years, which I think would violate the Sanborn rule. So I'll leave that up to the attorney if he wants to tell us why we are agreeing with the Sanborn rule. Uh, this article is fully Sanbornized. It tells the voters how much the total amount is over the five-year period. It gives you the amount that's going to be paid each year. and. Uh, I believe, and uh, so does uh, the uh, Municipal Association that represents all towns throughout the state, that this article fully comports both with statutory and case law in that it fully warns the voters of what's involved, very much like the collective bargaining articles, and uh, represents a contract that the voters fully understand the terms when they're getting into it. It does have the non-appropriation clause, so if, uh, if there was an overwhelming desire to uh, forfeit the monies that had been paid in a prior year, there could be a separate warrant article to do so in a couple of different forms. But, uh, but certainly the voters are voting enough with full information here to put the sum into subsequent years of the default and operating budgets. I'm not going to speak to the same organization portion of this particular <coughs> article, but I leave that to legal counsel, but I would like to offer this. A number of years ago, um, five years ago when I took over as public works director, it was apparent then um, that through the CIP and planning process that it was going to be difficult to maintain or replace the fleet if every year you had you came forward with three hundred and four hundred and five hundred thousand dollar articles um, for the outright purchase of a truck or so in an effort to be more fiscally conservative and to spread the financial burden if you will out over a number of years we looked at and um, discussed with uh, various financing groups the ability to finance a truck over five years. Um, some people will also recall that we went through a process of how, you know, if you go just the low bid process, um, you also only get what you pay for sort of thing, because we had equipment that was uh, purported to do one thing, uh, advertised by the builders to do one thing, but would end up falling far short. So. This effort uh, had been supported by the has been supported by the Board of Selectmen as a whole uh, to come up with a finance uh, period over five years is what uh, we brought forward, as I say, to level out the CIP to bring a more 
uh, fiscally responsible um, option to the voters. And I, I personally feel that the five-year lease agreement wording lets people know these are five. It's for five years. Thank you. It's clear in my mind no one is disputing the need to buy these or acquire this equipment. We're not buying it technically. No one's disputing the dollar amount either that I'm aware of. It's the process. A five-year contract requires a 60% approval. If we can put it up there with the mask that says, oh, no, this is just a one-year appropriation, it's not a five-year appropriation, then you can skirt around that 60% approval. And the DRA, a state agency, unlike the Municipal Association, which is not a state agency, the DRA says, sure, as long as you throw in the non-appropriation clause, we're okay with funding it one year at a time. But DRA also recommends that you put out a separate warrant article in the subsequent years. The procedure you're using, they say it is possible to do it, but they do not recommend doing it that way. And the Municipal Association, enough said, they do not represent the towns, they represent governing bodies of their subscriber towns. They do not represent the people in the town. They do not represent the whole town. They represent the governing body. I have the executive director on camera. If you want to see it, I'll be happy to show it to you. Thank you. Is there any further discussion on Article 28 as amended? I'd like to offer another friendly amendment to this article. Um, after the sum of 126500 to fund said lease purchase agreements should be plural in year one, with said lease purchase agreements should be plural again to contain a non-appropriation. I'll second. So, okay, so changing <coughs> agreement to agreements. agreements. Yes, in two cases. Okay, so that's the, the uh, amendment. All in favor of the amendment? Down, please. Any opposed? The amendment is passed. I have a, uh, for the, a comment on Article 28. I can remember the years when the public works yard would be filled with wrecked, uh, unusable vehicles. We have moved forward from that. I am very much in favor of leases rather than owning the darn things. Um, I am at a point where I certainly never want to see an over five year lease. The waste market is in flux right now. If you care to tune in uh, Monday evening, the 3rd of February, we will be spending that time talking about waste, how we address waste. It's all very fluid and it's changing fast. Uh, we uh, need to aggressively pursue the way we are going to treat waste from now on into the future. This is going to be a problem that can, can potentially give us huge headaches and huge expenses. We have to sit down and work out a, a plan where we are addressing waste. Do we continue to pick up uh, commercial waste? Uh, do we pick up uh, waste in large condominiums? We're going to have to go through all this stuff and start figuring out a plan of action, but waste, put it in capital letters and underline it, waste is going to be a huge challenge for this community. Just a point of order uh, to point out that these, uh, the five-year lease is a lease to own. It isn't, we don't turn these trucks back in at the end of the fifth year. Uh, the previous two max that we owned, we got 27 and 28 years out of those trucks. Uh, we're expecting to get a lot more than just a five year lease period out of these particular trucks. Thank you. Any further discussion on Article 28 as amended? Seeing none, it will appear I move on. To, uh, Restrict uh, rec reconsideration of Article 28. Seconded. There's a motion to. I'm a seconding. Restrict, restrict reconsideration. reconsideration of Article 28 as amended. All those in favor, raise your cards. <coughs> Down, please. Opposed. That's so noted. 